Hello, you you know, it's time again for great art. This month's artist is Pablo Picasso. While he is best known for inventing a new style of art called Cubism, he produced many great works of art in many different styles. His work became very popular during his lifetime and he is one of the most famous artists of all time. Pablo Picasso was born on October 25, 1881 in this house in Mangala, Spain. This is what Mangala looks like today. Pablo enjoyed art from a very early age. His mother said his first word was pencil. Pablo's father was a teacher at an art school, so his family was very supportive of him becoming an artist. By the time Pablo Picasso turned 15, he was already a very talented artist. This is a portrait he painted of his mother. Pablo briefly studied at the Royal Academy in Madrid, Spain, but he decided to visit Paris, France when he was 19. Four years later, he moved to France and lived there for the rest of his life. Picasso painted some of his most important early paintings during a four-year time called the Blue Period. He used shades of blue to show a mood of sadness as seen on the face of this mother. This is Mother and Child, he painted in 1901. Here's another example, Crouching Woman in 1902. This picture of the old guitarist slumping over also appears to be blind. After Picasso began selling his paintings, the blue period came to an end and he started painting with happier, brighter colors. This is known as his rose period. Picasso especially liked to paint circus performers. This painting is called Acrobat and Young Harlequin, 1905. This painting is one of Picasso's most famous from the Rose period, and you can find it at the National Gallery of Art. By this time, Picasso had painted several portraits in different styles. Can you find the one from the Blue period? A major turning point came with this Picasso painting. He no longer attempted to paint things lifelike as they appear. The faces of the people are distorted and look like masks. The whole painting appears to be made up of shapes and they almost look like a puzzle. This was a radically new style led to Cubism. Picasso began to paint portraits in the Cubist style, such as this one with the girl with the mandolin. Here are two portraits of the same person, Ambrose Vollard. One is painted by last year's great artist, Paul Cezanne, and the other is a Cubist style portrait by Picasso. This is a picture of his wife, Olga. Picasso began to explore other styles called surrealism. This face was distorted and he used bright colors to paint Maria Therese. This style also includes his well-known girl before a mirror. Here's another distorted, brightly colored face. This is Crying Woman, he painted in 1937. One of Picasso's most famous paintings is Guernica. 30 years after he moved to France, there was a war back in his home country of Spain. A small town called Guernica was bombed and thousands were hurt or killed. Picasso painted this to show the pain and sadness of the people in the town of Guernica. He used dark colors, cubism, and distorted faces to show the suffering. Picasso enjoyed a great variety of art. He designed costumes for ballets and plays. Here is a curtain that he designed for the Paris Ballet. He loved to experiment with art. He is considered to be the inventor of the collage. This was his first collage made of oil paint, cloth, paper, and rope. It's supposed to look like you're looking down on a glass tabletop. Picasso was frustrated with traditional sculpture cast out of heavy bronze, and he responded by building this guitar out of sheet metal and wire. Picasso even learned to weld so that he could make a wire sculpture such as this one. Picasso sometimes used found objects for his sculptures. Can you tell what this bull's head is made of? When he was 65, Picasso became interested in ceramics, and he would make over 4,000 different pottery pieces. Picasso enjoyed painting in his studio even at an old age. By this time, he had made a huge amount of money by selling his art and was very famous. This is rarely true for great artists. Most of the time, their art does not become popular until after they die. Picasso's art remains popular today and very recognizable. This is an important painting called The Three Musicians, and it's been parodied many times. I suppose Grover fits into Picasso's blue period. This is a play of the girl looking into the mirror with Snow White, the evil queen. 
you might remember when Mr. Potato Head declares, I'm a Picasso. Pablo Picasso is one of the most popular artists of all time. He is most famous for his Cubist style, but he also invented collage, found art, and is celebrated for sculpture and ceramics. Now it's time to make your own Picasso. For this project, you need a piece of paper, a Sharpie or black crayon, a ruler, watercolor paints, and a cup of water. First, start by folding a sheet of paper at least five times. You're going to take your Sharpie or your black crayon and a straight edge or a ruler and trace over the lines. Once you've traced over your lines, you're going to draw a face somewhere on your sheet of paper. It's okay if the features go through the lines. Don't forget eyes can be football shapes or you can go very abstract. Faces can be stylized or realistic looking. After you've finished drawing the face, color in the different shapes with brightly colored watercolors. Play around with different colors. You can make your face realistic or abstract. Lastly, paint in the features of the face. When you're done, you will have a Picasso-inspired watercolor.